Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the show. This is an early recording, early day recording session for me, so my voice might be a little deeper and quieter than usual, which should make some of you happy. And it's a little bit more fitting given what game we're playing because we need to be all sneaky. In the last episode, we've come up with a plan to get the Luna Stone, and that involves some complex thievery and some middle steps. And we're going to be taking one of those middle steps now as we do the three armed bandits mission. It's been just long enough, I kind of forget the exact detail of the story. Usually I watch a few episodes of my own LP before starting a new session. Kind of slipped my mind today, but... How's it going, guys? Ready to flex your craniums in the harbor? Ugh, uh, Lobo, I hate you Welcome already. Back. As long as there are machines to manipulate and freight to move, I'll be there. It'll oh, right, we have like to do the computer thing and Remember start a shell company. Jose? I called it, didn't I? The spark plug cowboy and his endless stories? Come on, go easy on him. Okay, what's the plan Our here, Lobo? We're stealing the entire shipping container, along with the computers inside. Sounds direct. We use the cranes to hoist it past a bunch of stations, and then we'll lower it onto our truck. Three times, counterclockwise. We start the first crane with this switch here. Pedestrian. Stop it, Bishop. But we still don't know if this computer bomb idea of his is going to work. It's going to work. As soon as the cops distribute the reports about our museum heist, the data will self-destruct. We can fire up crane number two right here. You're not officially back on the team yet, Lopkovitz. Make sure the cameras are off before you head out, and pay special attention to the guards' patrol route, smarty pants. Turn the last crane on right here. That seems like a very inefficient system for the shipping company. We could use them to create a diversion. It would be more graceful to sneak past them and hide in a corner where we'll be safe. No fair. You've been practicing. Fine by me. I'll be happy if I can at least use it to blow up a few locks. So, boys, who's going to drive the truck? Uh, looks like there's only going to be three of us, then. Hmm. And it looks like Lo Lobowitz or Lobo is... Oh, come on, man. Middle mouse button. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, up. Oh. Yeah, so I replaced the battery of my mouse, but it does not seem to have taken... Well, yeah, it's a little choppy. I just need a new mouse. So, luckily, you can hold shift to rotate the camera as well, so I may have to keep doing that kind of thing. All right, anyway. So, I guess we have to have Lobo with us. Ready to serve. Ah, uh, but I can yeah. do either of the others. What is this symbol here? Oh, they have different outfits. Wow. We are absolutely taking him in his professional wrestler outfit. That's, that's smoking, Cleo. Alright, anyway. Before I do that, let me see what exactly I'm doing. Okay, there are six treasures. Now, do I want them all in the first run is the question. I mean, obviously I do. But... Do I have the time, the ability to get them all? There's one. There's two. Three. Let's say if if I don't have to look. Let's see. Strong box, neat and handy, protects. <sighs> I think it would be useful to have Rufus and Bishop because if I have Bishop. Then I can bust open those boxes without any problems. And as great as Cleo is, well, oops, as great as Cleo is, enables Cleopatra to sneak behind guards without them taking notice. I mean, I can use the shoes for that. And even though she's faster, I don't know if we really need speed here, because. I like beating people up, and I play the game slow anyway, so her speed isn't really all that necessary. So we're going to leave Cleo behind to drive yep. the truck. We'll take Bishop and 
Rufus, the luchador. <laughs> so anyway, all right, where is where are the other treasures? I I let me let me see if I can recount this here. Okay, so we've got one here. Yeah, we've got one there, one there, one there. That's three. Oh, there's four. So one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, now you can see my mouse cursor. Isn't that lovely? After I was uh, confused why that wasn't there. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, and uh, Ryu D pointed out in the comments that after a mission you automatically sell all your unused uh, tools. So it's worth it to pick up even like the shoes or the crowbar when you're walking around. Let's see. Alright, one, two, three, four. There's five. Where the is that number six? Yeah, there's number six. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to basically send all three together and let Rufus knock people out, Lobo deal with any machines or whatevers, and then Bishop can break open the things. We just have to move slowly and make sure that when we open doors, the like guards will obviously see it and we need to keep them contained. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Alright, so I'm going to just go for it. I'm not going to buy any equipment, I don't think, because there's nothing we really need. Blows holes in and destroys cracked walls. Wow. That's interesting. Produces noise in a 40 yards. Destroyed objects are suspicious. You know what? Let's bring a stick of dynamite. Why not? We have plenty of cash to burn. And, um... Let's give Bishop some chloroform just in case, even though I just said I don't need to do this. Uh... And then, you know what, I'm going to try something else. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, Ryu also pointed out that maybe the deal with the shoes in the last episode was that I didn't use them correctly. Because I won't necessarily need to knock this guy out, for example. If he's got the shoes, he can just sneak on through and hit these two switches. And he'll be good to go. I wonder how I turn that off. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, we're gonna just do this. Usually, um, if I was planning on my own, playing on my own, rather, I would actually, like, really carefully look around and try to, uh, plan everything out beforehand. I sort of did that with one of the first couple missions, but playing for you guys, I want to kind of get into it because, heh, me screwing up, comedy gold. Remember... Use three cranes to get the shipping right. container to the truck. Don't let the guards out of your sight. So, the can the key. he... Okay, so yes, yeah, so it has to be activated. Alright, and then he can go here, here, and then hopefully they're still activated. And he'll come here. Alright. Actually, I'll have him come out to the van. What is the plan? Your plan is to get this... And then stand here and wait. And then grab that. And then also come out to the van. Your goal... Let's see. That's as far as I've planned, actually. Um, oh, I also... Watching my old footage, I realized if you hit the M key, you get to pull up the map and you actually get to see where shit is. Because... In one of the other missions, I forgot, or like, I couldn't find where the treasure was once I started, but you can just hit the M key and look at the map. Which is dumb that I had forgotten that. Okay, so once we get through this room... Let's see, his path... He might see this open door, and if he does, we're gonna be in some trouble. So, Rufus, your job is to just... Oops. I apparently can't give orders from the map. Your job is to come, all right, buddy, over here 
and just hang out, and then we'll figure out what we're... Uh, you know what? I take that back. Just hang out behind the van. And then we'll reevaluate and figure out what's going on. All right? Ready, team? Break. Oops. Leave that. Okay. Shit. On pause. Go. All right. Sneaky shoes. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. That is adorable. Wow, that is taking him a while to deal with, too. Shit, I don't know if he's gonna... I guess... Hold up. I guess it doesn't Watch matter. Up. Cancel what you're doing. Come over here instead, since that door is open. And then come over here. Fish, you're good to go. There we go. Perfect. And sneaky shoes are wearing off. Okay. So Cleo can just do that. Okay, so when I was watching the previous one mission, Rufus was able to sneak up on this guy, or not this specific guy, but he was able to sneak up on a guard and knock him out without the guard turning around. When I had Bishop order, when I ordered Bishop to walk through the circle of justice here, like, the guard didn't notice me until Bishop walked completely through it. So that must be what the sneaky souls do. That if you activate them, you can just pass through here with impunity. But if you don't activate them, then as soon as you pass through it, you get noticed. So that is good to know. Alright, so here's the switch box to open this door, but do we really need to do that? We don't, because what does this door do? Or switch? Oh, they both open that door. Well, we don't have to worry about it, because this door is nice and open for us. So we're going to hang out, and we're going to watch this guy's cone, and we're going to see what we're doing. Because our next mission is to get in here and grab all the treasures in here, because I believe... Yeah, there's two in this room, one in this room. So this is where I want to get next. Alright, so we're going to move everybody to this room. Got a lock to pick. So we're a little bit closer. This guy's irrelevant. He's apparently not turning around. Oh, I could have... I didn't even need to sneak past him. I could have just picked this lock and gone through the... Oh, God. Oh, inefficiency, man. All right, where is your psycho douche nozzle? Do I have any safe spots in the alley? Looks like I've got plenty of safe spots in the alley. Especially like right here, because I don't think he'd be able to see me even this direction. Alright, so everybody move up. Let's get to it. Technician ready. God, I love this game so much. My only problem with this game is that when I, I'm trying to play it for you guys, so I'm trying not to play it on my own, and that is torturous. Because <laughs> I figure you guys don't want to see like 20 straight weeks of this game, but I suppose nothing's stopping me from building up a whole bunch of episodes and just releasing them every eight or so. All right, I want to see... Uh, we have a problem here because these cameras... Oh, shit! Why do I keep holding the right mouse button to rotate the camera? Alright. So... I'm gonna leave that on because I want to be able to see it. Alright, um... That's attached to here. Man, that is gonna be hard to get into that room. Um... I have a really thin blind spot here. But I can't get in there because... That's a switch door. Wow. Oh, shit. Maybe I should have done some more planning ahead of time. Alright. Uh, let's see. I can't get in there. This guy is apparently not going to move from looking that direction. Oh, man. What do I do? Hold on, I'm gonna actually pause the episode and play in this. Jesus. Okay, this is gonna take a little bit of, uh, some luck here, but we're gonna try it. I have a, I have a plan. 
All right, he's gonna go that way and face that direction. This should be a blind spot. Okay, so we're gonna take Rufus. Yeah, right. So I'm gonna take both of these guys. We're gonna follow him. This is gonna require a lot of pausing to set waypoints. But I think I figured out how I'm gonna right pull this on. off. All right, Lobo, uh, Lobo, you're going this way. Yeah. All right, Rufus, I need you to go there. Wait, what? Oh, Lobovitz has to do that. Okay, well, fuck me. Roger that. All right. Light is right. Uh, What's up? Oh, it looks like he's actually clipping the camera there, so we're going to do that. All right. We're going to come here. And we'll repeat that action for, uh, what's his bucket, uh, Bishop. Come on, baby. All right, with that turned off, Lopovitz can go here. I mean, Rufus. And then he can come here, and he can actually just take that guy out. Meanwhile, technician ready. Technician Lobo, uh, Lobo is gonna come here, and then here, here, here. Hey, you! Hi. <laughs> Suck it. Wait. Oh shit! There was a camera there that spotted him. Oh, God. All right. Come here, quick. Ah. Hit the... Go. Jesus. All right, so... We're not... This is obviously not going to be a perfect mission. But there we go. Okay, cameras are down. All right, now that we're here... You can get that. And is there... Let's see. That switch opens that door. I don't think I want to do that. All right, let's just, oh, oh, and then there's a strong box. So let's just meet in this room. What is the plan? And then you need to book it. Let's go. Come on, Bish. I would actually prefer you not to, well, no. You probably have time, go. As long as this guy doesn't run, oh yeah, he's out of the way. All right, we're good. All right, we are good. Look at how good we are. And then Bish can unlock that door for us. And meanwhile, yeah, right. let's see, this camera is down as well. We need to activate this switch and get into there. Or do we even have to? Can we just, oh yeah, I guess we're gonna have to. All right, so Lobo come over here and hang out for a minute, because I don't know where this guard is. All right, we're gonna hang out. Yeah, okay, just just stay there. All right, so as soon as this guard passes, we're gonna run Lobo over here, throw this switch, flip that switch, and yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> wow, I am, I am not a good thief, ladies and gentlemen. I, I need to, I need to, Make my money the honest way. Video games on YouTube. Yeah. Shit, I can't believe this happened. And I had the perfect opportunity, too. If I had waited for the guard to come back here, then I could have easily dealt with him. Oh, well, whatever. All right, so we're going to wait for this guy to come over here. And... If I was feeling really adventurous, I would send Lobo over here real quick, but that's just silly. Let's just be patient. See, I probably have enough time to send him around and loop him around, but let's not be dumb. Let's just hang out. The key to being a good thief is to relax and be patient. All right, head on over. Actually, hold. Grab the crowbar, then do this, then do this. And then we'll reevaluate what we're doing. 
Man, I love this music. So funky fresh. Ugh, I'm angry at myself. I do like that the game seems, um... Like, it's, it's fairly forgiving, at least so far. Of course, I am on the first few missions, so... Alright, hopefully this doesn't arouse all the guards' suspicions, because that would be a problem. I mean, they're already pretty pissed off at us. Yay! Ah, oh, it reminds me of that one mission in Grand Theft Auto V. I wonder if people like that mission as much as I do. I have a feeling they didn't. Like... In, in one mission in Grand Theft Auto V, you actually have to do some manual labor for the sake of blending in undercover. Which reminds me of also of that one game that I can't pronounce that starts with an S that everyone loves, Shishume, I think, on the Saturn. And you had to, uh... Um, you yeah. had to... Oh, shit. Where are you going? Hmm. I don't think he's actually gonna exit the door. Anyway, my point is, I kind of enjoy the manual labor in Grand Theft Auto V, which was weird. But we're going to talk more about not that in the next episode while I try to figure out what's going on. I'm going to pause it, or I have a feeling this is going to get ugly. So, thank you all very much for watching. We're going to continue moving that crate and hopefully steal some computers in the next episode. And I will see you tomorrow for another one.